we got the car home let's do a quick walk around acrylic black on this car the wheels are 18 inches with 225 section rubber slightly low profile the mirror caps are also black on the rs 245 we do get bigger brakes more on that later on the rear spoiler is black the exhaust tips remain silver as a 230 the challenge I think gets the black exhaust tips but we can always order them and get them done the rims really look nice like these are actually the best rims I've seen from factory on a Skoda at least in India and they're really really nice they really make the car look very very sporty and low profile and let's go into the car quickly to give you a peek at the interiors not much has changed the interiors remain more or less same as the 230 except for a few new buttons and a new digital gauge cluster biggest thing is the cluster in this interiors it's fully digital like the audi tt and bmw that we are getting nowadays it's functional there's a lot of features in it we'll do a separate video on that i think there are enough videos on this already on the center console we get the same head unit as the 230 we also get two center buttons on the climate control for the seat heater passenger seat heater driver seat heater the driver seat heater button also acts as the steering wheel heater so we have got a heater steering wheel god knows why but i guess euro spec cars would just came standard over there we also get a vrs mode button which basically is a switch for different modes driving modes of the car it changes the throttle response as well as the gearbox and the differential settings. The interiors remain more or less the same as the 230 seats are the same, power electronics are the same. We do get an umbrella under the passenger side front seat. That's an addition. The navigation unit remains the same. The rear seats have the same stitching, same pattern as the Octavia RS 230. A couple of additional tidbits include the cell phone holder and the ashtray in the center console. Both are removable. The holder won't hold anything because an iPhone 8, so that's useless. The side bin remains the same as the Octavia RS 230. The front brakes remain the same as the 230. Same 340mm, same caliper, same disc. The rears are now 310mm ventilated disc brakes instead of the 6 one piece ones on the 230. The engine is where the maximum changes are and from the top you can just see a different engine cover, that's about it. Maybe a different, slightly different battery, I'm not too sure about that one. So let's get into the more interesting part of this video, the detailed changes of the engine. So this is not just a cosmetic engine upgrade, the power level has been increased by changing quite a bit of hardware in the engine. The engine, base engine of the car, which is the short block, is shared with the golf car, including the crank and the oil pan and oil thumb. The 230 has a different part number on it. The cylinder head is completely set different from the 230. Although most of the mounting points remain the same, the design has changed to allow better flow. So on the cam side, the intake cam remains the same, the exhaust cam is different. Exhaust cam part number is shared with the Golf R again. On the valve train bit, the springs are different. Valve springs on the car, they are stronger valve springs and they have a unique part number. They are not shared with the 230 or the Golf R. The pistons on this car are also very different from the 230. It's a completely different part number and the piston rings are also different. The part number is unique to this car and it's not even shared with the Golf R so I'm not assuming that these are forged pistons but they are slightly stronger cast pistons the closest match to the part number I could get for these pistons is on the Audi RS5 V6 engine the oil pump on this car is also different than the RS230 the oil pump part number is different than anything I've seen on the Golf R or the RS230 so a different part number i'm assuming it's a device design the other change in the car is the gearbox which is now a newly redesigned seven speed wet clutch gearbox instead of the six speed gearbox in the rs230 the additional gear hopefully improves fuel economy and the gearbox is set to be shifting a lot faster than the old six speed 230 gearbox 
in addition to that the 230 which had an open differential in the gearbox that differential in the new gearbox has been replaced with Volkswagen VAQ electronically controlled limited slip differential so we get a proper differential in this new car compared to the 230 so more or less these are the most significant changes there are some other tidbits here and there and as i drive the car i find them out i'll post videos on them along with driving videos which are coming up soon once the engine breaks in properly i can actually do a launch control and show you guys the actuation timing of this car and hopefully a drag video with one of my friends who has a stock prs 230 so we'll get a good clear picture of what these cars are about